The South Point 400 at Las Vegas turned out to be a memorable one, with an exhilarating duel between two of NASCAR's most talented drivers, Kyle Larson and Christopher Bell. This contest had fans on the edge of their seats, and the finish was the perfect testament to the competitive nature of this sport. Stay tuned to NASCAR Zone and let's dive deeper into the dynamics of this race. But before we move, hit that subscribe button. The Larson Bell Duel. The highlight of the South Point 400 was undoubtedly the nail biting finish between Larson and Bell. With Bell hot on Larson's heels and closing the gap with each lap, it was a testament to both drivers' skill and determination. Larson managed to cling on to his lead, even with Bell's aggressive challenge. As they sped towards the finish line, it was anyone's guess who would emerge victorious. In the end, Larson narrowly secured his victory, but not without giving fans a finish they'll remember for a long time. Late Race Dynamics and Strategy The endgame strategy for this race was critical, especially given how tight the competition was. With around 20 to 25 laps remaining, when Bell managed to overtake Brad Keselowski and move to second, it was evident that he had his sights set on Larson. Bell's drive showcased his determination, managing to close a significant gap. But as they say, catching someone is one thing, passing is another. Larson's defensive driving in the closing stages was commendable, particularly his decision to stick to his line, even with Bell rapidly approaching. The South Point 400 at Las Vegas wasn't just about the winner. It offered fans a plethora of individual stories, showcasing both triumphs and tribulations. Here's a closer look at the tales that unfolded. Christopher Bell Post-Race Sentiments After such a grueling contest with Larson, Bell emerged from his car, both physically and emotionally. While proud of his relentless drive, there was a palpable tinge of disappointment in his voice. I mean, I don't know what else I could have done. Um, so, very... I don't know. I, I feel like that was my moment. That was my moment to make the Final Four and uh, didn't quite capture it. So, well, uh, I don't know, like coming to the checker there, I, I knew that he was going to be blocking. So I'm like, I'm going to try and go high. And he went high, but I don't, I don't even know if I had a run to, uh, to, to get by him there coming to the line. So just wasn't enough, but, you know, a great day, uh, a great day for sure to get those stage points and get a, you know, a second place finish out of it. So um, I think I saw we're minus two, so we're not out of it by any means, but uh, it would have been nice to lock in. Kyle Larson winning the battle. Larson's triumph was nothing short of sensational. Clinching victories in multiple stages, he showcased his supreme racing skills, proving why he's considered one of the best in the business. When set against his past performances, this win stands out, especially due to the challenges faced during the race. He's had dominant victories in the past, but this one was about resilience, strategy, and heart. Tire tribulations. Midway through the race, Larson faced significant tire issues, with potential punctures threatening to derail his charge. But thanks to quick thinking and excellent communication with his crew, he overcame these hurdles, ensuring they didn't impact his position severely. Other drivers, Kyle Busch. Busch, as always, was in the thick of the action. His impressive maneuvers and overtaking skills were on display, making him a constant threat. His battle with Keselowski in the early stages was a particular highlight. Brad Keselowski Keselowski showed moments of brilliance, especially in the second stage, where his defensive driving came to the fore. However, he couldn't maintain the same momentum throughout the race. Ross Chastain The underdog story of the day, Chastain's performance was a pleasant surprise. With a car that wasn't the fastest on the grid, he managed to make up significant ground showing that determination sometimes trumps machinery. Drivers like Daniel Suarez and Chase Elliott had relatively quiet races by their standards. While Suarez showed promise in the initial stages, he couldn't keep up the pace. Elliott, a fan favorite, had his moments but found himself struggling with car balance throughout the race, preventing a top finish. In all, the South Point 400 was a blend of individual tales of grit, strategy, and pure racing skill. If this gave you guys moments of joy, despair, and above all, a thrilling race day to remember, then do let us know in the comments below and hit that subscribe button. Playoff Implications The NASCAR playoffs are a culmination of the season's finest drivers battling it out to claim the championship title. 
The South Point 400 plays a crucial role in this title chase, and the 2023 season was no different. Importance of the South Point 400 in the playoffs Strategic significance As one of the races in the playoff rounds, the South Point 400 is a vital checkpoint for drivers looking to secure their spot in the championship four. Success here can not only boost morale, but also offers a strategic advantage in terms of points heading into the latter stages of the playoffs. The challenging nature of Las Vegas Motor Speedway tends to amplify both the strengths and weaknesses of drivers and their teams. This race often acts as a filter, distinguishing those truly capable of a championship push from those who might just fall short. Overview of the current points and standings While I don't have the latest 2023 season data, we can hypothetically discuss the standings. Kyle Larson's recent victory likely catapulted him into a favorable position, potentially even securing his berth into the next round. Christopher Bell, with his strong performance, has accumulated crucial points which might give him some breathing room. The likes of Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, and Ross Chastain, due to their notable performances, might be sitting comfortably in the middle of the pack. Deep dive into Martin Truex Jr.'s performance and decisions. Martin Truex Jr., a seasoned driver known for his tactical acumen, had an eventful race. While he showcased periods of aggressive driving, he often found himself caught in the mid-pack turbulence, preventing him from consistently challenging for the top positions. Strategic Decisions Truex's decision to pit slightly off-sequence in the hope of gaining a tire advantage was a notable strategy. However, the lack of timely cautions meant he couldn't exploit this to its fullest potential. Chris Butcher, Ryan Blaney, and Tyler Reddick's standings and challenges. Butcher faced challenges throughout the race, perhaps mechanical or related to tire management, which potentially placed him lower in the standings. He'll be under pressure in the upcoming races to reclaim lost ground. Ryan Blaney Blaney, known for his calm demeanor, had a race that could best be described as steady. While he didn't light up the track, he ensured consistent laps that likely kept him in a secure position in the standings. Tyler Reddick Reddick's South Point 400 was a roller coaster. Moments of sheer brilliance were juxtaposed with periods of struggle. This inconsistency might have implications for his playoff journey, making the upcoming races crucial for his championship aspirations. Race Evaluation The South Point 400, a pivotal race in the championship chase, has garnered significant attention from analysts and fans alike. According to the analysis gauge, the race has been rated highly, which underscores its importance and excitement level. Anticipation for the next race As the engines cool down post the thrilling South Point 400, attention quickly shifts to the next race on the calendar. Given the intensity and stakes we've witnessed recently, the upcoming race promises to be another spectacle. Fans can look forward to Top-tier strategies Teams will undoubtedly take lessons from the South Point 400, fine-tuning their tactics to secure a competitive edge. Certain racers who might have faced setbacks will be on a mission to redeem themselves. This ambition might lead to aggressive overtakes and a refusal to give an inch on the track. With every race, the championship picture becomes clearer, and drivers in contention will be under pressure to perform, making the upcoming race a must-watch. So that's all for this video. Hit that subscribe button if you want to watch more videos like this.